The Angels are going to show us what's going on and how to get through it per usual. If you don't know me, I'm Michelle and this is Angel Souls. Let's see what you need to know. Now, I am using the Magdalene Oracle, which is a very popular card deck. Let's just focus here on this upcoming energy of about a week's time. Time is not linear with the angels, so it could be a little before, a little after. That's why I always encourage people to go back to my videos, pick one, see how it resonates. Okay. Oh, there's a card sticking right out. Love. <laughs> now, this makes a lot of sense because this is a time of immense healing because a lot of people are just trying to leave behind the old way and I don't when we say the old way that's not that's not just like oh, I want to leave behind my old job which is you know or an old relationship or whatever that's a lot of people's default and that's not bad it's just missing the point a little bit so if you've been having a very low time and if you've watched my videos for any amount of time you know I have that too. I have the low times. That's sometimes why I'm late in getting these videos up. I'm doing my own thing over here, right? So when we're in that space and we're not getting anything done or we just don't feel like we're capable or we just don't know how to feel fulfilled, when you bring love in, and that's hard to access, so hang with me here. They're going to give us a message on how to do this. When you bring the love in, you can start slowly lifting up. And when you're in that space of high frequency love vibration, right? The love vibes, then this is where you can create. This is where you can start manifesting something that's really actually good for you and will help you fulfill your soul's contract. Not just something that's going to bring immediate gratification, but something that's actually helping your soul. Cool, right? Now, how do we access that? One of the things that you can do is when you find yourself falling, 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 or you're getting sort of disrupted by something in your world, we always want, okay, well, I usually breathe into my heart space and ask angels to come in. But let's start more simply than that, okay? Think of anything that you really love. Maybe it's the color green. Maybe it's puppies. Maybe it's your baby, right? Who do you love? Who do you love? Is it someone on the other side? Who, when you think of them or what, when you think of it, opens your heart space? This is why the arts and music, anything creative, is so incredibly important. And if you get around those people who actually diminish that, I've been told I have a degree in theater and a master's degree in writing. And I worked hard <laughs> for those degrees. Those were not just easy degrees at all. And I have been diminished so many times because those are the types of degrees that I have. Well, number one, the theater degree was incredibly helpful and healing for me because it thrusts me into the spotlight. And I had to get used to, one, finding my voice, and two, being in front of people and being seen. I wouldn't trade that for anything. Good for you if you're a doctor. Good for you if you're an attorney. Good for you if you, I don't know, have a degree in business. Good for you, okay? But if you're a creative type, you're actually tapping in to divine source, right? That inspiration. Now, that doesn't mean that people who are in, uh, my face is getting tingly. <laughs> Sorry. I know that's weird, but it happens sometimes when we're doing these readings. Um, but, you know, if you get inspired by making that big business deal, that's wonderful. And that's the same kind of thing, as long as you're not being shady about it, right? Same kind of idea. Any kind of inspiration that can be channeled through you, where maybe you are a doctor and you helped someone find a way to turn their life around. Also beautiful. Where you start to sabotage yourself is when you start judging others and you start trying to tear them down. You're taking the love out of the situation. Okay, that's where we want to be careful. And by the way, 
uh, it's usually a good gauge for me. Uh, obviously, nobody wants to be diminished and, you know, made to feel like you're silly because you went into humanities or something creative, right? Um, but if someone really cannot appreciate music, the fine arts, art of any kind, I don't know. It's red flag behavior to me, right? Because I'm like, how are you accessing the divine if you're not in the beauty that the divine creates? I, I don't understand that. I can't make that connection. I don't know. Mother Mary, here's this nurturance, this compassion. We were talking about the heart space. I said I tune into the heart space and I breathe into it and I connect with angels. Mother Mary helps us find compassion, helps us find compassion for others and for ourselves. And so when she pops up, this is saying that you you need a mother figure right now. No matter what's going on in the physical realm for you, you need someone to love you. Now, this is a deep, deep divine kind of love. And that's what's on offer here. This will restore you. This will help you find yourself Especially if you've gotten into a place where the shallowness just doesn't work for you. Or you definitely feel like you don't belong on this planet. Here you go. It's because your line to the divine has been sort of shut off a little bit by density consciousness, by your density body. Now, the density body is not bad. Density consciousness doesn't have to be bad. It's just broken right now. And it's been getting broken for thousands of years. So we're just kind of in the growing pains of our evolution decision. Now, we just had a full moon a couple of days ago, I believe, right? What day? Or no, yesterday. Was it yesterday? I don't know dates anymore. <laughs> so anyway, this always reminds me of, of a full moon. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see that because I'm kind of sitting back away from the camera. But there's like a teardrop. I think of it as a teardrop coming off of this full moon and going into the water. You see all the emotions, all the representation of emotions, <laughs> the compassion, the heart space, love. Now, this isn't falling in love because you're somebody who centers romantic partnerships in your life because that's the only way you feel fulfilled. It's not that. This is something entirely different. And if you are that person, like let's say you're a woman, you're a straight woman, and you center men in your life. I don't know if you're going to get anything from these videos. I'm going to be very honest with you. I don't think you are because we go past that. We, especially me, I'm very independent. The resurrection. Okay. Let me tell you something about this. The love is going to help you get into your light body. The love is going to help you resurrect. But here's what's interesting. I had done a take. Obviously, I'm doing this during Mercury Retrograde. And kept stumbling over my words, <laughs> losing my train of thought. And I just said, you know what? I'm going to start over. When I first shuffled these two cards, these two cards came out together. They came out together. And I started over and I shuffled them again and they're out again. It's time to be uplifted. It's time to allow yourself to come into this new frequency and in this new frequency, it's going to feel very strange because, I don't know, it's it's not going to, I'm going to pull one more card here. The things that you were taught, you should want, I've been saying this for years, you don't want them anymore. You don't need the big job with the, you know, the title and all of that. You realize it's not worth it. Revelation. <laughs> now, some people see revelation as kind of scary, but I, to me, this is the sun rising and you're finally being illuminated. You're finally being able to see what is of true value to you. What? Maybe it's peace. Imagine that. The revelation is I'm more at peace when I'm by myself or I'm more at peace when I'm reading a book or... <laughs> You know, uh, okay, maybe I have a day job, but what creative things can I do to help me get into that divine spark, to ignite that within me? If you've been watching, social media is a language unto itself in this day and age. 
And I don't see that slowing down anytime soon. So what does that mean? It means that social media can change lives. And here's why I'm saying this to you. We learn so much about where people are. And I've been watching very carefully and seeing how people are turning away from a lot of materialism. Now, not everybody. Of course, you're going to have those 3D density people. They're, they're built for it. They'll live and die for it. They're not going to go into 5D. They don't want to go into 5D. They like where they are and that's okay. But I've been seeing a lot of other people going, what's going on in the world? You know, what is going on? Like, why are people acting like this? Or when someone is being a bully, I take so much comfort in watching people come out and show, illustrate that there are others who will not accept that. They will not accept that kind of behavior towards another human. All is not lost. And we can find each other. <laughs> we can find each other and we can come together. So keep this with you. Check out the dailies. If you want to get a personal reading with me, I am shutting down live readings for the time being. I just, there's not enough hours in the day. Uh, but I am still doing the standard readings. So you can book one of those at angelsouls444.com. If you want one of those, I would get them. I don't know what's going to be coming up. I keep saying that and I've always offered the standard readings. I don't know. Times are just very unpredictable. I feel a change coming. I have, I say that all the time though, <laughs> but I am, you know, doing the live or excuse me, not doing the live readings, but doing the standard readings, angelsouls444.com for those. All right. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. 